But there's something that happens as one allows oneself to take this seat in meditation, even as we did for this time this evening, where you begin to trust your capacity of loving kindness and compassion and awareness. And it becomes lovely, this lovely space, not so much you, but the space of awareness itself. You are loving awareness. And you you become the witnessing of this life in, in a way that the whole sense of self, of who you think you are, kind of opens to something much greater. And you know this. It's not like this is some foreign concept. Um, it's really mysterious. You got born in this human body. Eyes and ears and senses and consciousness that modern psychology has not a clue about. Not a clue. All kinds of cool research about the brain and stuff. Consciousness, not. It's what you are, actually. Consciousness is what makes life. But they haven't figured out a way to study that yet. And so you begin to trust. And for me, it allowed me, I mean, yes, I did practices sitting in the charnel grounds with um, making prayers when people's bodies were being burned and doing reflections on death, because monks are supposed to do that. Helps you get wise. And there I was then able to come back and sit with people in hospice and not be so afraid, or sit with my parents when they died, you know. And in the end, you realize that what matters is love. Can you be present? Can you show up with an intimacy and a presence and a love? And that love might take the form of creativity, of having children, of making a, a creative business, of creating a piece of art or music or, or whatever. But underneath it is the love itself. In the end, what really matters. I live for hundreds of thousands of years as a mineral, says Rumi. Then I died and was reborn as a plant. I lived as a plant for thousands of years and became an animal. Then I lived again and again and became a human being. What have I ever lost by dying? Or Thich Nhat Hanh, who writes... What is his phrase? He says, um, you are a cloud. You are a spade full of soil. This is not poetry. This is science. You know, that rain cloud fills the lakes around Mount Tamalpais to become MMWD water or that fills Het Hetchy and goes down to San Francisco, and then you drink it and it becomes you. I mean, who do you think you are? Your body is made of all this stuff of the earth, the clouds and the soil, and then it's inhabited by spirit. 